Hey guys, it's the day after Christmas, and I, since I didn't film a Christmas video, um, we're gonna unwrap a gift. I got a crate from CCM in Ukraine. They make the uh, toy, they used to make the Optimus, which was like F3J and F5J plane. They make the Vantage, and some other things, so... Let's go ahead and open up this day after Christmas present and see what we have inside the box. I've already taken out a lot of the screws, but we can get the rest out. Hey, I think that's all of them. Oh. This thing might be glued and screwed. See here. Well, they do a good job securing the lid, that's for sure. Ooh, pop. What do we got in here? We got some carbon repair kits, composite repair kits. There's a couple of toy fuselages and something brand new right here. That's exciting. Everything is packed in here tight and secured with foam blocks. And the foam box are actually glued to the crate, so chances are very high that we won't get damaged models, but it makes it a bit of a pain to get this stuff out of here. And it makes a bit of a mess. All these things are taped together too. Looks like I gotta get more screws out of the sides. Let me go ahead and do this. don't really have the right bit on my drill. Usually I try to take a lot of this foam out pretty carefully because I ship so many models uh, I, I re reuse all this stuff you know when I ship models out to customers so it can be really helpful so I try to keep it but it definitely makes a mess especially the styrofoam just, just one of those things you gotta deal with Okay.
I got all the screws out on the inside and the outside and still kind of glued together. I would say CCM definitely gets the award for best best crates, best packaging. So if there's an award for that, they should get it. Because only one time have I had planes damaged from CCM. There's some Optimuses several years ago, and someone had basically driven a forklift through the entire crate. And there was no way anything was going to survive that. So can't blame that on Alexander and the guys. Actually, I think that was back when he was still working with uh, the CN guys. Now they've kind of split off. I gotta get these out without holding the camera. So we took those fuselages out, and now basically it's just wing panels left. I don't know if you guys ever think about this, but if you were to go to Home Depot these days and buy some light ply, some eighth inch or quarter inch light ply, and these maybe some half inch sticks like this, and uh, buy all the stuff to put this together, it wouldn't be cheap actually. You'd probably end up spending probably close to a hundred dollars. You know, wood's really expensive right now. And obviously the time it takes to put all this together and you gotta get the foam and cut all the foam out. They cut the foam real neat so I don't know if they use a hot wire for that or what. But um, yeah, it would take you a lot of time and a little bit of money, you know. it's, it's So you gotta kinda appreciate when uh, Someone goes to these lengths to ensure their their products arrive arrive safely. It's it's really nice. Some foam, this excellent packaging material that I will save. Some more here. And there's probably maybe some ballast at the bottom of the box, but anyway, let's let's get these wing panels out. I can tell by the shape of these wingtips that this is uh, some spare. These are this is a Optimus uh, big flap F5J wing set that I ordered for my friend Craig. He has an Optimus F3J and he wants a set of uh, F5J wings. So that's what these guys are with the the pointy tips. Um, I'll pull parts out at the end, I guess. More packaging material that I will definitely save. Uh, what else do we got here? We got another set of wings. Liberty. This is the first Liberty. It used to be called the Liberty. Liberty without the T. I don't understand how that name was chosen or what, but uh, I'm glad he decided to change it back to Liberty. Um, the other one kind of sounded like library. So th anyway, this is the first Liberty F5J that I have ever got. Probably the first one in the U.S. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure of that. Um, it's a light version, so we're definitely going to have a look at that a little later. We have a center panel here. This looks like an Optimus. And we have some uh, horizontal stabs for the toy. So I have a couple of toy X-tails, toy 2 meter X-tails, which also is the first ones, the first X-tail 
toys that I've seen. That is also pretty exciting. And then this guy should be... Yes. This is a center panel for the Liberty. Uh, that This is the vertical for the Liberty. And I think these are the verticals for the toys, the X-Tail toys. And right off the bat I can see that uh, this part here is much different than the Optimus. So that's cool. It looks real nice. Excellent detail in the molding. and uh, I don't know what kind of plug this is. I haven't seen this, seen this before. So he's using a different kind of plug there. And toy two meter wing panels. One of these is for Mr. Uh, Navarro. So if you're watching Miguel, one of these is for you. Again, we got some of these repair kits. Another toy wing set. And should be some baggies with uh, you know the hardware or accessory packs or whatnot. Oh here they are. They're in a little secret compartment here. So these are the accessory packs for all the models and spare wing set. I always get, uh, you know, because uh, some of the models come with IDS installed and he always sends me the uh, bits that he didn't use with the servo ramen kits. So I just got tons of this stuff everywhere, just arms and it's kind of getting uh, overwhelming right now. I probably have 20 pounds of this stuff sitting around in bags. So I got some, uh, he ships me Vita props sometimes, so I, I asked for some spare carbon slim Vita props. And there's a... Uh, Toy wing joiners. And then there's another secret compartment here. Box. Uh, and uh, this has ballast in it, so we're going to have to get the, uh, get the drill or screwdriver back out. Okay, we got some ballast slugs. Uh, I forget if this is, uh, I think this is for the Optimus swing. Pretty sure. And then we have the new style ballast for the toy. Got all those ballast slugs in here. All right, well get rid of this box and we'll just have a real quick sneak peek at some of the parts. Here's that Liberty center panel. 
excuse the reflections from the roof. This is a hollow molded part and we'll definitely go into a much more detailed video at some point in the near future. There's just a quick look. Then we have a wingtip. Again, hollow molded. Uh, this is a 4 meter span. Their previous Optimus was uh, 3.8, I believe. So we have a full 4 meters. And unfortunately, I discovered. I don't know if you guys can see this little superficial. Not really a crease, like something dragged along this. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's, it's just something you, you don't really want to see in a brand new airplane you pull out of, pull out of a crate. So I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Um, maybe I can get a new tip panel out of CCM or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But otherwise, the part is really nice. Very light. Very, very light. I don't know what it weighs. We'll, again, we'll do a, a more in-depth video on the Liberty and we'll weigh the parts and all that. You can hear the tails, uh, horizontal and the vertical over here. These are both solid core parts and I'm pretty certain these are the, this is the same tail group as the Optimus Sport. The uh, Optimus Sport was a slightly updated version of the Optimus that had a, a new boom and, and these tail groups on it, solid core tail groups. So I think these are the same. All new pod. Got a nice shape to it. Kind of looks like the whatever the newest version of the Supra was. It kind of reminds me of that. Some of the detail where it mates to the, to the center panel here. And a really interesting feature back here is these quick release well, not quick release, but releasable push rod couplers. So the pod has uh, this aluminum sleeve back here, and I think this is very thin, and it's glued over, bonded over uh, carbon. And there's a little tiny pin right there. And the back is actually completely blanked off. You can see the push rods. And in here there's little tiny metal keepers. So if I pop the canopy you can see these keepers back here but you put set screws in there and uh, that would clamp the push rods in the boom which is right here here's the boom and it comes with this 3d printed cap very nice here are the push rods so these guys go into those other parts in the in the in the pod and get clamped on. And again, uh the boom has a bit of a sleeve in it too, an aluminum sleeve with a little notch right there. So very very unique way of uh retaining the boom and allowing you to have a two-piece boom without having the servos in the boom. Very very interesting. Here's the tail. This looks very uh, familiar to me. Looks like the Optimus Sport uh, where the tail mounts on vertical. The vertical is well forward of the elevator. Elevator goes back here. So that's very nice. Let me see if I can one-handed get this together or actually let me put the camera on the tripod. Okay, I got the camera out of my hands. So again, um, this is where you insert the push rods from the tail boom here. So you'd be doing this at the field when you're assembling your model. Oops. You want to make sure you somewhat line up the notch. And it fits just very, very well. It's very positive. Does not rotate at all. 
And I would assume maybe you'd run a piece of tape on that. I don't think you'd want to rely just on the uh, push rods to hold everything together. So that is very, very nice. Very nice looking parts, very, very high quality. Alright, the next thing I have is the toy 2 meter X tail. Uh, the, the fuse is completely the same up here as the V-tail, the original V-tail. But it's got a very nice looking tail group on it and if, you, if we pull some of these parts off, get a closer look. Here's the elevator. Again, this feels like solid core. And it's got a really neat offset horn. So you can see the angle on that horn. It's the part where it mates to the fuselage. And in the fuselage, back here, you can see it's, it's very flat. And it's got two uh, ball cups back here. So that's why that, that horn is offset. This looks like it's going to be a very nice solution. Very, very clean uh, job designing this. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to build one of these or not, but we'll see. And the vertical got aluminum uh, rod in it with uh, one screw. So one screw holds all this stuff together. Nice metal ball link here for the rudder and a hole for the carbon alignment pin. So yeah, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'm definitely. Uh, very curious about this Liberty. The parts just look beautiful. So, uh, I know some guys are still uh, fans of hollow molded parts. So this might be something you could look into if you're one of those guys. The quality on this stuff is just outrageous. Put the cap back on because this is not going to be my model. Stick the canopy back on here too. Snap in canopy. Um, I don't know what this is. Looks like it might be 30 millimeters or something. But again, we'll we'll take a closer look at all that stuff in an upcoming video. So anyway, guys, it's just a little uh, you know unboxing, uncrating from uh, from CCM Alexander Check out there in the Ukraine. Real nice guy. Had the opportunity to meet him a few times in person very very good pilot a really good glider pilot he takes competitions very seriously so I'm probably shows in his uh, craftsmanship and models he produces so anyway guys I hope you had a really very very Merry Christmas I know times are still hard out there um, I'm feeling it too but it was really nice to unwind with my family and loved ones and we had a great Christmas with my little niece and nephew and my girlfriend and my parents and my sister it was just wonderful and that's what Christmas is all about really you know spending time with people you care about um, maybe some of you guys got some nice gifts some cool RC stuff uh, that's always fun too but remember guys you know Christmas is not about getting gifts it's about uh, something completely different so uh, anyway guys uh, we're still in the holiday season, so we get to look forward to the New Year's coming up here. I hope you guys have a great New Year's, New Year's Eve. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.